The Neighborhood by Princess Uka von Rothschild Chapter 8 Scholaris I was taught everything there is to know about men by my husband, the Acapulco police chief, Liz said. I cannot tell you what an ugly fella I envisioned. Fat, terrifying, big belly, smeary, oily skin, Frunkled over a half unshaved face. He, who for a change from the custom hag horse, equally disgusting he could afford, at the time he chose a wife. Acapulco is Guerrero. War. I was picked up to marry at my age 13, she lied. She was 11. Yet the outrage was there in her tone. Still not fathoming the cruelty about that misdemeanor act, she right away and immediately showed me her face. Always, always make the best, even of the worst circumstances. My lease. About the husband. It is not that it was a choice. When a man of that caliber in power wants something, he takes it. Parents have no say unless they wish to meet the murdering, torturing guns of his achichinkles, cheap serving underdogs under the chief's command. One last word. The marriage. It lasted until she was 30. Then even she got too old. Or maybe his lethargy was far too boring for her. Liz enjoyed life. She made the best of it. She planned. Thinking was her thing. About what? Love. My name works as director of the National Social Security Institute. He is married. Better to have a man in bed, therefore married, than sleeping alone. This is the only way I can have a man married. He'd be going somewhere else. She spelled it out to me, straight away and pretty forward. I liked her. She was tall and styled up in a carefully applied multi-layer of makeup. This is Mexico. Women wear plenty of makeup. Maybe nobody feels actually good about herself. She was 50. Maybe, yet with the soul of a teenager. She was out loud outspoken, a rarity in Mexico. Nothing, nothing in the whole wide world spooked her. She's seen it all. Men are pigs. Her ex, a pig prototype. Who taught her all, so she said. Liz relaxed back and dominated every man involved situation to perfection. Besides her strategies, she was so direct, fearless, with a loud sarcastic laughter, announcing her wisdom beyond anybody ever, having figured life out that clearly, yet not shameless. All men ducked to her. I liked her, despite our diametrically opposite life views. Were they? I am aiming solely for love. So was she. Yet I never ever in the entire time of existence wished to provoke a man sexually. Do you gotta get this imagination going, she lectured, by dropping phrases that include. Next she gave me examples. I was astonished. Are they that dumb? Apparently. The men in her world. Who was that? 99.999% of all Mexicans. I longed for the remaining 0.001%. Princess Silka, I longed for the remaining 0.001%. Yet Liz truly was self-secure. No one could bullshit her. This was her power. She parted from the premise of evil. I always start with goodness. I am innocent. She took me in like a mommy hen, a teeny tiny chicken, whom she saw would never grow out of. She wasn't expecting me to imitate her, God forbid. The sensitive flower, me, was to be cherished like God guards the earth. She was protecting me by bringing her advice. God sent, I took, for once and only from her, the guiding instructions. It brought 
the wanted result in the larger picture. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. Not me. Never ever. For example, after the Holy Week, I expected Antonio to call me. We had spent a little beach vacation in Nixtapa. I felt desperate. Monday morning back at the office, I told her, she, let me have her number. I'll check out for you what exactly the situation over there is. So Liz called. It's serious, Liz reported shortly after. So what are you going to do? Call her. Name it. Here's what you're going to say. Liz was wise. I went in that dare once in my life. Oh, hi. Georgina, this is Silka. You know, Antonio and I just spent some vacation at the Extapa Siwartanejo beach together. Nice talking to you. Great. This is working out perfectly. Ju bearing his babies, taking care of them, the household and such. Whereas I go holiday, party and amusement with him. That part was what Mexicans expected a gringa to be. Amusement, not serious. We should get together sometime, all three of us. Ciao! I concluded and hang up. She wasn't talking. For once I shut the bitch up. It was so unexpected and I put out that speech so directly to her she had no time to even mutter a word. Twenty minutes later my phone rang. It was Antonio. Finally? After an entire week? Nah. He, of course, was outraged. Have you been calling Georgina? His usually soft voice now raised a bit. I could hear his heart pounding. No, I lied. Why not? He does it all the time. I wasn't aiming to get him back, so this one lie was all right. I was finished with him and his lamentable acts of cowardy. No where was bore me. I never want a mameluco. It did feel weird to lie. It's not me. Yet this was precisely the issue. He trusted me so much, he knew I'd never lie to him. I felt it. Silk lying that would break his world. So he, not expecting me to have light, put under the radar in Zoom and magnifying loop all and everything she ever did to him. And there he saw. The entire call me, help me CV had but one purpose, to get him out of my house. Jealous, me kicking him so she'll get him back. He fell redundantly at the time. October, he had not gotten what a real relationship is. Honesty. In inviting her, by talking about her, into my intimate couple to let him get rid of her, I allowed a threesome. It hasn't been that he went to see her. Not the restaurant he took her, but the lie. The lie. He never was able to stand. She did over and over, such he noticed. Lies a bitch. What made that of him? By the end of the week, I had put my affairs in order. I sent my government friends, also Antonio, chauffeur to drop all of Antonio's belongings. The awesome and so wished for by me stereo system he did not take with him when he left in October. All his stuff on the curb in front of his office. Shame. Shame, he felt. And Lisa knew that, as everyone saw what a slimy douchebag he really is. But what makes a man a douchebag? A sissy, a spineless.